Uh, Ireland's uh, corporate tax rate is statute-based, uh, is very clear and is very transparent and we do not do special deals with any individual companies in regard to that tax rate. I'd also point out uh, that the uh, aggressive tax planning by multinationals in an international environment is one that is of uh, focus for quite some time now. There is an OECD report uh, to be published in July uh, which will focus on uh, a new consensus for the transparency of the international uh, tax regime. Ireland has been to the forefront of this, one of the first countries to sign the agreement in terms of sharing of information with the United States, uh, participated in the focus groups at the OECD in regard to these matters, um, and uh, for that reason uh, Ireland was, was, has been one of the front runners and will be in regard to in building a new international consensus here about the transparency in respect of um, of tax regimes as they as they um, as they apply to multinationals internationally but also say uh, that we have continued and will continue to compete for international business in the context of uh, multinational business uh, our country uh, has had its um, a stable uh, corporate tax rate for many years. But that's not the only reason that countries come to Ireland. It is because of our technology, because of our track record, and because of our talent pool. And I'd make the point that over 100,000 skilled jobs apply in Ireland because of, the, uh, because of the multinational business attracted to Ireland over the last 30 years plus. Um, in addition, I'd like to say that I welcome the, uh, welcome the decision of the Judiciary Committee of the US Senate in respect of the um, bill to go before the Senate for a comprehensive immigration deal. I discussed this with President Obama when in Washington in March, uh, and I discussed it with John McCain and others uh, from across the House. Uh, and the point is uh, that the opportunity here is for a, a path to citizenship. And we also are concerned and interested in the uh, E3 visas. Uh, which situation is also under consideration. Kishkara Skwege, Kishkara Skwege. August, but can, I first, can I ask you whether or not the European Commission has been in contact with you regarding Ireland's arrangement with Apple and if you've been able to reassure them that everything is in order and above the law? I'm reassuring them now the European Commission have not been in touch with me uh, about, about Apple or about any other individual company, in which respect I cannot speak about individual companies anyway, except to reassure everybody uh, that our t corporate tax rate is statute-based and does not allow for individual tax rate deals with individual companies. I'd be happy to repeat that uh, at the Council today, were that matter to arise, that we are talking here about uh, tax evasion and, uh, and fraud and energy issues. Is the government likely to look at the whole issue of the double Irish and the tax regime that Apple has availed of to ensure it's not resident tax Well, resident multinationals in, in their aggressive tax planning you operate in many jurisdictions and for that reason uh, Ireland has been very much to the frontier in having uh, building a new international consensus insofar as the transparency of the tax regime is concerned in an international sense for So you will reconsider the current legislation uh, Ireland has already that. signed the agreement for tax uh, sharing and information in this regard with the United States. We have been uh, a party to the focus groups of the OECD uh, and we are, we are very, very much in tune with movements in, internationally uh, in building a new consensus here.